Hey everyone, uh, introducing this, this new effect here I got, it's called the Oops Uh Oh, it's a crazy um, envelope controlled pitch bending thing. I designed this actually a really long time ago and I never really tried uh, selling it or making it as a finished thing because I just thought, I don't know, I just got distracted with a million other things. So um, I finally got around to making it as an actual product and it's really super cool. So the oops control is just volume controlled. Uh oh is the sensitivity. And then this thing with the razor blades and the dead guy, that's um, switch controlling time constant of it interacts with the, uh, the sensitivity to basically control how this thing is bending the pitch and acting crazy as you're playing. And so fiddling with these two controls while you're playing, I think is where you get the most fun from it. And uh, the sensitivity control has enough range that it should be able to get good responses, whether you have really hot pickups or really weak pickups, or even if you're working with line signals. Like, I think this could probably do some really cool stuff with drums. Um, so, yeah, I'll just fiddle with it a bit here, play around, and try to give you an idea of what sort of sounds it does. See, it's like sort of an auto whammy. Turning sensitivity down can make it a lot like more junky. You could use your guitar volume as a as sort of a control of that too so you could just turn the the sensitivity up all the way and then roll it back on your guitar and adjust it that way as you're playing <laughs> Time constant, as the time constant gets longer, it starts getting a little bit more unpredictable and strange, even more so than usual. <laughs>
So yeah, that's a kind of weird one. Um, it's pretty cool. It's using a delay chip, so that's why when you start getting with the really long time constants, um, the it's it stops becoming real time. I mean, you're when you're playing with the really short time constants, uh, it'll it feels like there's there's very little to no latency, so it, it feels nearly real time. Um, because all the weird bending where time starts to stretch out happens on the decay of the notes, but the attack of the notes, because it's designed to have a really fast response for attack. And so the idea is I wanted to have a near real time feel. Um, but then when you start getting into those really long, weird time constants, then it's just turning into like weird noise that's happening in its own realm, not necessarily in the land of humans. So, yeah, I, I fucking love this pedal, so I hope people dig it. Alright, see ya.